Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did the dungeon Utgard Keep, and today we are in Camp Winterhoof. Let's have a chat here Greetings. with Chieftain Ash Totem. Oh. Hail, stranger. If you are looking for a place in need of your help, you have found it. The dead reawaken, walk the land, and arrive on ships from across the great ocean. The fjord grows too dangerous, even for us. And soon, we must leave for safer lands to the north. Help Camp Winterhoof. So, Nanak did find help then. Tell me, Flag Carrier, how is it you made it here without him? None know this land better than Ta the Tonka. We shall meet again. Alright, so it looks like the Tonka are in the Blasted Lands and the Howling Fjord. Greetings, traveler. Ahoda Whitefrost, enemies are closing in on us from all sides, and all the elders talk of abandoning this post. I say we should stand and fight like the warriors we are. Hasty preparations. The down of the spotted hippogriff is prized by my people and used for everything from fletching to ceremonial clothing. We're making preparations to leave the post. So this is the last chance I'll get to gather it this season. With your help, I'll have enough to make sure everyone has the equipment they need for the long trek into the hills. Conditions worsen very quickly up there, and a storm can blow in without warning. The down can be found all over the ground in the area surrounding the post. We shall meet again. All right, so we might as well pick up all the quests here. I'll just show you guys on the map where we are. We're just up here, Camp Winterhome. It's right next to Fort Wildevar, which is an alliance qu questing what area. Brings you here? I'm going to miss Camp Winterhoof, but I understand why Chieftain Ashtotem made his decision. Home is a comfort we cannot always afford. Making the horn. My people have been hunting the giant yeti of these hills for generations, and I will be participating for the first time this year. It will probably be the last before we leave the post forever. To prepare for the hunt, I must fashion a loud horn from the horns of the dire rams that roam the snowy areas near our camp. The elders tell me the sound mimics the mating call of the female yeti, but I have my doubts. Bring me the best dire ram horns you can find, flag carrier, and I'll select one from among them. Walk with the elder mother. Peace, Suppressing the elements. If you are to survive here, as we have, you must learn to face the environment's challenges head on. The elements will claim your life if you're not vigilant. As the proliferation of elementals in this northern hills shows, we must call the elementals one last time before we can leave this place. Are you willing to aid us while we continue to make preparations? You must kill any ice shard elementals or howling cyclones you encounter in the snowy hills surrounding the outpost. Ancestors watch. All right, so that's uh, that's it for Camp Winterhoof. I think we got all the quests, and we got a lot of quests to do. I guess we'll focus on the the spotted hippogriffs. I think we can pick these up with uh, like while we're in flight form, so this should be pretty quick. Gotta love being a druid. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well today. It's been a pretty good start to the new year. It's dark, though. Dark and gray. Which is kind of like a sad look outside. We got a little bit of sun today, which was nice. I kind of hope the snow, like it, it snows, so it kind of looks, you know, a little bit more like winter out there. It kind of feels like uh, April at the moment. All right, so one more feather. And there we go. We're a couple of weeks away from uh, Aldar coming out. Looking forward to that. I hope we're kind of close to 80 when that happens. It's going to be a challenging raid. I can't wait to watch the World First race for it. And I hope they do it on hard. 
hard modes. That should be the requirement. Make for a, a more interesting race, I think. Deal with them. Some, some trogs, troglodytes attacking us. I believe these are trogs, right? I haven't seen troglodytes since I played uh, my dwarf hunter. Those are some good times. So we'll get Intervig going on here. And we'll do... Uh, I guess we'll bandage up. I haven't used a bandage yet, so we might as well use one. And then we'll, uh, we'll group up these... These rams. Tarpaul's awesome. Alright, so we got all the horns. Now we need to focus on mountain elementals. I guess we should probably turn these in. Well, we might as well. Ah, I've been expecting you. Have you brought any suitable horns? These are all fine horns, Flight Carrier. Let me examine them and select the one I will use in the hunt. I'll give the rest to the craftsmen for use in their carvings. These are all excellent. It's going to be hard to choose just one. I think I found the one I'll use. Now I have to begin the task of carving it. I don't think it's going to be easy. I don't even know what a female yeti's mating call sounds like. <laughs> yeah. I've got the most of the basic carving done, but it needs to be tested before I can continue. Are you willing to help me with that flag carrier? The horn has been roughed out, but before I make the traditional carvings, I want to be certain that it will work. Ahoda tells me that he tests his horns at the foot of the frozen waterfall to the northeast of the post. Ahoda tells me that our hunters have used the acoustics of frozen water this, in this way for generations. I can't wait to learn more. Will you help me test out the horn? If I've done everything right, you may even attract the Yeti. So be prepared. Bring the horn back once you've tested it. Ancestors, watch over. Alright, sounds good. Looks like we got another quest here from Longrunner Pembe. The Book of Ruins. Chieftain Ashtotem dispatched me on a scouting mission to Giant's Run. A broad, rocky plateau to the southeast, past the frozen glade. The area has been taken over by Iron Dwarves, who seem to be altering the giants as they emerge from the earth. The iron ruins, stone collars, and binders carry large tomes with them, which must contain the ruins they're carving on the giants. Capture the pieces of this book, assemble them, and bring it back to me. It's the only way we'll understand their plans. Farewell. So we got a lot of quests here just by doing those ones. The winds guide you. Have you gathered any of the downed feathers? With your contribution, we'll be well prepared for the journey. I haven't much to offer you for your help, but I will give you a choice of some of my spare combat gear. All right, so we got a, a ring here. Gives us a little bit of hit rating and spell power. Not too bad. I think we'll probably end up just going with uh, with the plate. We'll sell it. What else we got here? 
What March of the Giants. To the east at Giants Run, ruined inscribed stone giants have started to migrate north toward Frostblade Pleak. I know nothing of their goals nor of their destination. The glowing ruins inscribed in the stone flesh of the giants guide them on their journey. Fell some of these giants. Take this pick with you and use it on the corpses of the ruined stone giants. It will deactivate the ruins. Once you've tested enough giants, return to me with your findings. All right, so looks like we're going to have to fight the, Walk with the ruined stone giants. Hey. That I think are being created by the dark iron dwarves. Keeping watch on the interlopers. Not the dark iron dwarves. The iron dwarves. There's a difference. Even the earth cannot hold back the tide of death washing over it. Corpses walk the land, spreading their putrefaction with alarming speed. A small expedition has made its way up the western cliffs and rest near Whisper's Gulch. Take a look for yourself, Leg Carrier. See if you can learn their purpose and dissuade them from bringing their positions into our lands. Travel southwest from the post toward the cliffs overlooking the western beach. Their camp will be west of the excavation at Steel Gate. Be careful. All right, so I guess we'll deal with the elementals. No, oh, damn it. That was a cool little ability that he had there. And Cold Arms is up, I believe. It's the weekend. We could check and see what we got going on this weekend. Warsong Gulch. Would be cool to check that out. I don't know if... Kind of just been chilling for now. I think probably once we're done with the Howling Fjord. We'll start doing some BGs. We are a little bit low. Like low of a level. I think once we hit like 73, 74... We'll do uh, some called arms. We'll probably be there next week. Next week we should be at least 74, maybe 75. The Grizzly Hills music? Sounds like it. It's crazy how far that pushes. Is the ram gonna attack me? Yeah. One, I think the one, the, the cold arms I want to do is Serathi Basin. So that's one we'll, we'll 100% do. I think that'll probably be coming soon. The reason why I want to do that one is just so I can push people or typhoon people off of uh, off a of lumber mill. Oh, what's over here? Test Nak Nakamo Nakamo's horn. All right, so we'll do that. Where's the horn at? Anything happen? Maybe we weren't close enough. Here, I'll put it right here. Are you the one who interrupted my dinner? Well, are you? You're too ugly and scrawny to be a female yeti. And now, you're making me mad. Pretty cool yeti. 
think we would two shot him like that though. Oh, it looks like the horn works. You wish to speak? Nakoma listens to your report from the test. I'm relieved that the horn works so well. Maybe you maybe too well, if what you're saying was true. You're sure the beast spoke? I don't know if I can go on with the hunt, if that's true. I'll have to speak with Chief Ashton about it. This horn may end up being merely decorative, but that won't diminish its worth. Thank you for all your help, Flight Carrier. Guess that freaked her out a bit. That, uh... I'm not sure what we should pick here. Are these boots any good? Nah. May the eternal sun. Uh, I've been expecting. The influence of the elemental spirits has receded, but it will return. We've brought ourselves the time we need to complete our tasks here and take our leave. May the eternal sun. Nice. Right, so we got another quest here. Scorn well must met. fall. Flight carry the Vicral Forces, Scorn sits to the south. Its strange giants have recently awakened and have begun to spread, attacking us wherever they can. My scouts inform me that they are poised to strike at us here, but I do not have the strength to repel such a force. Instead, we will prepare to leave north to less dangerous lands. I ask that you use your cunning to buy us time. I've sent a brave ahead with the details. Show this album at Scorn, and he'll reveal himself and do all he can to aid you. Alright, so we got the Winterhoof Elm. Um, um. Okay, so we got uh, a new zone. I guess we're slowly making our way to the west. So I guess we'll finish up this quest here. I have to fight these guys? Only these these are ruined ones. Kinda worried about using uh Starfall here. We got one of the books. Gotta get chapters one and two now. the binders that have the books. These are the iron dwarfs. Pretty sure, I don't think you can be an iron dwarf, right? Like in retail? I think you can be a dark iron. But not an iron dwarf. Alright, so we got number two, we got number one. Combined all these together to make the book. And there we go. Ruined stone giant corpses analyzed. Ruined stone giant, these ones. I 
wonder how we're going to analyze these. Oh, look, nice. Maybe this called. Do we get anything like this or that? Investigate the ruins on the corpses of runestone giants. Oh, okay. I don't know how we can kill these, though. How are we going to kill these guys? You can, all, you can try, right? Get the boys out. This ruined sentinel is going to come and ruin our day, though. Should get he kind of started running towards us. I wonder if I can push him. No, it doesn't work against elites. Okay. Park skin. Should be alright. Got interrupted there. Ooh, we're not going to be okay. Fuck. That stun was so... Damn it. I should have ran. should have kited. Also have health pots I didn't use. Kind of annoying. They're right down here. Gotta find a keybind for health pots. Maybe nine, but I have nine as cure poison. And then remove curses. Yeah, I can't really replace anything here. I just have to add a keybind. Maybe shift G. Yeah, I'll add it next episode. Just click them for now. That was too bad that we died to that. One big interrupt. I thought he was going to die to that. Starfall there. I didn't use Starfall either. That was kind of a mistake. Alright, let's find one of those stone giants again. I wonder where they all went. There's one. Okay, we're going all in on this guy. Don't have... It's such a dumb ability is so easy to kick. Can't get him away from me. Which sucks. Okay, health pot. I got him. He's got a kite, I guess. Oh, I'm dead. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, man. That's one thing that sucks. Like, once you get interrupted like that, maybe wraths are better. One thing I didn't put on I, on him was Insect Swarm. Sucks I can't use Typhoon, man. I think it buys me some time to get a Start fire off. Should probably start the fight full hots too. Take it a little more seriously. There's a rune giant that killed me. Used health pot too to do anything. There's one. It's coming up our way. Another one over there though. Okay, so let's drink up. 
should use our healing power elixir. Okay, I gotta wait for Buddy to pass that guy. And we don't have much time in our pot there. Wrath. That missed. That dot on him. Like we can't even put insect swarm on him. Get up. Okay, so let's deactivate the ruins. That's it's one down. Almost died to the dot. Yeah, it's a tough fight. It's one thing my rogue could handle pretty damn easily was fighting this guy. But yeah, we'll need pretty much everything to fight him. There's another one. Didn't use Starfall that time. It's kind of lame I was standing like right in there. Kind of looking for the ones that are all alone. There's one. Dude, we won't have na Force of Nature, though. But we'll have Starfall. Let's see how this goes. That doesn't do anything. All these abilities just don't work. Kinda got stunned. Great time to pop up. I didn't, I didn't heal myself. Too bad. I need to just heal here, or die. Come on, Dot, do something. There we go. Keep healing. Eh, not bad. A lot of force of nature this time, I think. There's another one. I don't know where he's blocking to. I wonder if we can pull him solo. Alright, so we got everything back. Drink up and we'll try to deal with these two. <sighs> All right, so it's hot up. I'm just gonna tell the trends to attack right away. I think that's better. Um, oh, damn it. Well, I got out of... Lincoln Farm. Kind of pop bark skin. Should be more than okay here. That's good. It's our best one so far. I just need to deal with this last one. We need bark skin though. Pretty sure. So we'll wait for that.
Guess we'll get this guy. We won't have the trench this time. All right, Barkskin should be up soon. Let's do this. Get a nice star fire on him. Pretty good range there. Just getting close. Probably gonna stun us soon. There we go. Okay. Barkskin up, so should be okay. And some hots up. This guy's a beast. Not doing a lot of damage. This is the death. Dude, get away from me. Heal me, please. Got another one chasing me? Oh my gosh. Oh, he evades? <laughs> what the heck? I hate these things, dude. Oh man, that was, I don't know why that guy was so strong. I guess our star, star fires just weren't strong. They didn't hit for that hard. But we'll have Barkskin up again soon. I guess because his attacks deal additional shadow damage. Rune Fist. Oh, then he disappears. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Okay. I didn't know they do that. Okay, let's do this. Starfire. Another Starfire. Park skin. Get the boys out here. I'm stunned. Hit him hot. We got him this time. Okay, good. But yeah, for some reason, insects... Oh, almost died to the dot. Yeah, for some reason, insect swarm didn't work on him. Don't know why. I'll try doing it again, and we'll run away. But I remember casting it on him, and it just didn't work. Is that one right here? Okay. See, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't no dot. Right. Come on. <laughs> Man, I love being a true just for like all the shape shifting. Yeah, I guess we'll go back to Winterhoof. We'll turn these quests in. We'll see if they have any more for us. I wonder what they're freaking out about over there. Another druid. Look at him running around. <laughs> He's like, damn it, I wish I had played for him. Have you recovered the book? The Long Runner browses the Book of Ruins. I'm no lore master, but I have some familiarity with the language of the Iron Dwarves. I think the ruins they're carving on the giants are derived from their spoken language, but there are some differences. I think I've figured out what the Iron Dwarves are doing, the tools they are using to imbue the magic during the forging. When they're using the, to carve ruins, the symbols form much more than mere words. These ruins have the power to bind, compel, and twist. If I had a set of those tools, I could mimic the ruins in the book. I captured one of these boxes from one of the pavilions at Giant's Run, but it was empty. 
Look for similar boxes and recover a set of tools from them. Goodbye. Looks like we gotta get some tools. Peace. Sage Eden. The sage listens to your findings. The ruins for north and west appeared over and over. I'm not an expert in these ruins, but the repetitions of them suggests a strong command. These carvings are more than passive directions, though. They seem to pull the giants towards something, but what? Let's find what's luring the giants northwest, so we can stop them before they reach their destination. While the ruined samples gave us some clues, the unknown ruins worry me. When I visited Giant's Run, I noticed a large broken tablet jutting from the ground where the northeastern part of the area met the snow at the foot of Frostblade Peak. Take the samples, compare the ruins with the tablet, and see what you can learn about the identity of this lodestone. Go in peace. Alright, so we'll do that. First, I want to sell some, some junk. So we got a little bit of junk here. I'm going to hearth here. The I guess we'll make this miss our home for now. I have just the thing. Just want to get rid of you. some some of the junk we got. There we go. And there is the ruin sample. Ancestors. We got four thousand gold now in this character. Not bad. And these ruined uh, giants, they're actually going north to fight uh, to fight giants. Other giants. <laughs> well, they're fighting themselves, pretty much. So these ruined giants, were they were former giants, like stone giants. And they were corrupted by the Iron Dwarves. And the Iron Dwarves are using them as tools to fight their battles. So what do we got to do here? Oh, we're stealing tools. Or one of these guys have them on them? Oh, there they are. They're right there. We'll just pull a bunch of these guys. Why not? Get rid of the whole camp while we're here. Herb down here. Herbalism's getting up there. We're at 410. I think the max is uh, yeah, 465. Press or 455 normally. We got the plus 10 herbalism for being a tauren. That should be such an easy... It's like the easiest profession to level, I think. Especially as a druid. So what do we... So we gotta go here. We gotta use the ruin sample. Compare the ruins on the sample. Those on the broken tablet. There it is, the broken tablet. Let's compare. The heck? Arise from the earth, my brothers. Our iron masters have a mission for us. Who's this guy? Image of Megalith. Follow me into the mountains and carry out the plan of the masters. We will not fail. Now we know. Well, we don't really know the plan. We know what they're trying to do. I guess we'll hearth back here. We'll see if they have any more quests. Maybe we'll have to try to find out the plan. 
Peace, friend. You returned with those tools. Pembe examines the tools. These are more delicate than I thought. Allow me a moment to try them out. Can you feel the power emanating from the ruins I've carved on this tablet? They're smaller versions of the ruins that the Iron Dwarves are using. We'll use it to shut down their operation. Take it to Giant's Run and use it on a stone giant that the Dwarves have not altered. The giant should obey you. But I've tailored the ruins to restore it to its natural state after a time. The giant may prove a valuable ally in the battle against the, the Binder Murtis, the leader of the Iron Dwarves forces at Giant's Run. What brings you he didn't in? listen as, as you describe your findings. Megalith? A literal transcription from the tablet. This megalith must be the centerpiece of the Iron One's ma mysterious plans. Binder Murtis created megalith to be a kind of keystone for the ruined giants. To lead them in their mission, defeating megalith will leave them lost and without direction. I will ask Chieftain Ashtotem to divert some of our men as we move north and dedicate them to eliminating the last of the ruined giants. Without their giants, the Iron Dwarves cannot stand against us. Search the foothills of Frostblade Peak, north of Giant's Run, for Megalith, and defeat him. We shall meet. And here we go. It's time for us to defeat Megalith. The traitor. He's a traitor to the giants. I think first we'll go to Giant's Run, though. Test the Rune Command. There it is right there. Can't attack this guy, so that's good. So we'll just get over here. What the heck? He's attacking now? No, dude. Oh, but he can be pushed back. He's only a stone giant. Okay, well, it's time to call up the boys. Time to do this. Time to regrowth. Or stomp. Looks like you want to fight, eh? Just wanted to turn you into one of our allies. Looks like I'm in combat. Oh, this guy. No! Let's use Innervate here. And we'll find one. I think I gotta be a little bit more delicate with these guys. Can't <laughs> They don't like getting hit by Starfall. This one count? I don't think he does. This one counts, so... Yeah, we'll have to deal with these guys one by one. It's one thing about Boom Canary, he pulls everything. Who the heck are you? Oh, well, it's this guy. The Druid. Drive Shaft. Oh, got a buddy. I think these guys aren't happy about that. I wonder if we can bring him up to fight, uh, to fight the traitor. Megalith. We're bringing you up to Megalith. We're gonna fight him. Together. Binder Murtis. Oh, wait. We need to get Binder Murtis. Is he fighting everybody there? Oh, crap. He's surrounded. 
Gotta help him. Maybe we should have just went to fight Magdala. Oh no. Hurts <laughs> don't giant us. He's not looking good. Come on, do your best. Okay, good. Stay alive. I wonder if he can fight him. See how he's doing. He's kind of dying. It's not good. I think he's going to pull another one. Let's pull that guy away. I kite him a little bit. That's right. Nice stun. Beautiful stun. That's right. Keep smacking him. Hits him for a decent amount. 166. He gets those stuns off. He's an awesome, like, pet. That'd be cool if hunters could have giants as pets. Well, it wouldn't be that cool, but... <laughs> be kind of OP. <laughs> that stun is pretty awesome, man. Problem is this guy's gonna die soon. Can I heal him? Yeah, you can. That's a lot of heals, though. Give him some healing touches here. Oh yeah, big heals. There you go. Alright, we're gonna go get Megalith. I hope he can come with us for that. Then we'll have to come back down and deal with Binder Murtis. Megalith should just be up here. There he is. The bad man. Megalith. We got... We got our own... Deal with him. Go get him. Go get him. Stop messing around. Fight, dude. It's Megalith. That's right. Hit him. I gotta heal. I can stun him. He got rocked. <laughs> I have fallen. Fear not, brethren. Let nothing keep you from the stone forge. Alright. Back we go to get Binder Murtis. Should be just ahead. Is that him right there? There he is, Binder Murtis. He will bind no more. Actually, pretty beast. A decent amount of decent amount of health. We got a nice little herb over here. Here we pick that. And that's it. Another herb. I he's getting chased down. Oh, they left him alone. I wonder if he'll follow you all over the Howling Fjord. It would be hilarious bringing him... Uh, if, like, we actually had Alliance on this server. Bringing this guy into the... Uh, into the Alliance... <laughs> Like Fort Wildervar. I want to do that just to see what he does. There we are at Fort Wildervar. What level are these guys? 75 elites. Probably going to get wrecked. Run, dude. It's only a 72. I think. Yeah, they're just completely crushing him. Ah. Uh. There's too many of them. There's like a whole brigade. How may I aid? You've done well in defeating Binder Murtis, but the Iron Dwarves won't give up easily. As my people move north, I'm certain we will encounter the Iron Dwarves again. 
Next time, we will be prepared to thwart them before they can dig in. Careful. That's right. Uh, You've done I well in felling Megalith, but I wonder about his final words. You're sure he said the Stoneforge? It is not a name our people know, but it sounds like it might be a creation of the Titans. The outsiders speak of. The Iron Dwarves have ever been a cunning and dangerous foe. If I carrier, we must watch these giants and find the stone forge before they can carry out their plans. Walk with the earth, mother. Okay. Well, it looks like we are done at Camp Winterhoof, guys. We have uh, stopped the Iron Dwarves somewhat. And we uh, help them prepare for their journey into the Grizzly Hills. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.